Kevin gives inspirational talks and seminars wherever he goes, but the fact is he inspires people the most just by showing up in his chair. Yeah, when people see me going for it in a wheelchair, some people say to themselves, if that guy can do that in a wheelchair, imagine what I could do. Then they start challenging themselves to be the best they can be. And that's why Saunders is set to start his health and fitness tour of America. The first segment will begin on the Canadian border just outside of Detroit later this month and then wind through our nation's heartland before ending 2,000 miles later in Laredo. He's planning on covering this part of the nationwide tour in about three months. All the preparation, all the hard work, all the pain is worth it when you're helping others reach their goals. Well, one man is going a long way to help fight heart disease and obesity today. Kevin Saunders will push his wheelchair from the Detroit-Windsor border all the way to Mexico. I said Mexico. Kevin joins us live in our studios, and we appreciate you being here. you got to tell us, so wh why are you doing this? There's a real problem with the obesity epidemic in America. I want it to be part of the solution. So I'm going to wheel thousands of miles across America to promote health and fitness for everyone. So you're going to wheel all the way how are you going to do it how have you been preparing for this well in order to do something of this magnitude i had to work my tail off with months of intense conditioning in order for me to stay on schedule come rain or shine now what will you be doing along the way well six days a week i'm going to be pumping my racing wheelchair in all conditions pouring rain or extreme heat i have to keep cranking because i have a schedule to keep and with challenging myself and others to be health and fitness champions. That's why I'm starting right here in the home of the world champion Detroit Pistons. Oh yeah, right here yeah. in Detroit. That's good. Be... Now, now tell me, so what are you going to be doing as you stop in city to city? I'm on a mission to see that everyone has an opportunity to get healthy and fit. So I'll be meeting with mayors and community leaders across the country to help launch community-based grassroots efforts to achieve a healthier nation one community at a time. I really believe that the battle against obesity and unhealthy lifestyles is going to be won in our local communities where we live, work, and play. All right, so we'll be, we'll be cheering on Kevin and cheering on the Pistons. Kevin Saunders kicked off his health and fitness tour of America on June 15th. The first part of his 50-state journey ends tomorrow when he rides into Laredo. We caught up with Kevin as he was leaving Encinal this afternoon. He says being healthy and fit changed his life and he hopes to spread the word to people across the nation. What I'm doing is working with communities across America because I feel that the war against obesity and unhealthy living is going to be won in the community. While taking a quick water break, Kevin explains just how his voyage began. I'm paralyzed from the chest down from a big explosion and I played football in college and track and uh, you know I came back from a 48, 48 inch waist to a 32 inch waist so you know if I can do it paralyzed from the chest down I think everybody's got a chance to be healthy and fit. Kevin was in his early 20s when the massive explosion sent him 300 feet in the air landing on concrete. Surviving was nothing short of a miracle and even though he was confined to a wheelchair his friends helped him realize life wasn't over. Back, the best was yet to come. My rugby friends uh, that I, in Corpus Christi, where I got hurt, 10 people were killed, I was blown 300 feet through the air. My athletic friends helped me, they didn't pity me. They told me, get in the weight room, let's go play medicine ball, and that's what helped turn my life around. After undergoing exhaustive rehabilitation, Kevin became one of the best wheelchair athletes in the world, competing twice in the Olympics. Now with every mile he travels, Kevin hopes his story will inspire us all to make the change and adopt healthier lifestyles. Kevin is expected to meet with Mayor Betty Flores tomorrow to establish goals for a healthier Laredo. Over a period of grueling weeks and months, I pushed my racing wheelchair from one end of America to the other. Over 2,500 miles, meeting with local officials and families. Along the way, I shared my insight on the nation's health crisis. In one stop after another, in big cities and small, I helped thousands of students and people of all ages to become inspired and motivated 
and daily accountable for their improved education to make fitness and healthy lifestyle choices a way of life.